So, uh, Representative, congratulations. I uh, just wanted to give you the opportunity to introduce yourself and your background to the people. Sure. Uh, thanks, Tom, for the opportunity. I'm Representative Julie Ogo from the island of Rhoda, Precinct 7. Um, this is my first uh, term to ever run for House. I did run back in 2018 as a mayor. Um, I believe that with the, with the current economy right now, I feel that I am more... Um, uh, what do you call it, um, proficient in, you know, trying to find uh, uh, opportunities for the, you know, for, for Rhoda as far as the uh, financial, you know, situation uh, with our economy in Rhoda. So basically, um, I'm, you know, I've been uh, around, uh, you know, the political arena. I was raised by, uh, or Poksai, Poksai in Chamorro by the former mayor or the late mayor, Prudential Manglonia. And um, he's always been an inspiration to me to help the people. I, I am the founder of Luta Cares, and um, I feel that um, I want to take my, you know, my, uh, my ability to help our people, you know, you know in a, a more uh, level, you know, uh, opportunity to express my, my, uh, my ability to help. Um, yeah. And did you run as an independent under Arnold and Dave, or what was your campaign? Initially, I ran as an independent. I feel that in Rhoda, uh, party affiliation is not really, you know, um, uh, um, you know, a significant significant thing in Rhoda because we all want to, you know, help our people. So um, my goal here is, you know, um, to collaborate with the other, you know, senator senator senators from Rhoda. And to you know to put on the table uh, you know uh, you know um, projects or uh, opportunities for the people of Rhoda. And uh, unlike the Senate, uh, Rhoda only has one seat in the House, and so you're one of twenty. Uh, how is it like so far? You're uh, entering you know just a few weeks into office in terms of making sure Rhoda's voice is heard at the table as their lone House representative. Mm -hmm. Well, the great thing about this, uh, my you know my uh, current position as the only um, House of Representative coming from the island of Rhoda is um, the leadership. You know, we I uh, I, I was um, part of the uh, our administration, and so with the leadership majority are you know in house. So the relationship has been established way before you know coming into into the house. So uh, I've built that relationship um, with the majority. And so with that said, um, I feel that, I feel confident that, you know, we'll be given the support for Rhoda. And uh, why run for House? Um, your first run was for mayor, so uh, what made you make the shift? Well, um, I believe that uh, um, with, with, the, with the Congress, you know, um, you know, basically, Coming from a business background, uh, I feel that I can be able to give more of you know my 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 experience as far as uh, you know um, uh, you know looking at you know finding resources for our people of Rhoda um, to you know to help them uh, be a more sustainable you know ec economical uh, island, and um, basically that's what it is. Yeah. And so uh, you're working with the delegation uh, this this week. Uh, Mayor Aubrey Holcomb will be uh, inaugurated. Sworn in. Yes. And so, uh, have you already met with them? What kind of discussions? Well, you I, you know, uh, of course, you know, um, we'll be organizing our uh, delegation on Monday next week in Rhoda, and of course, the inauguration for the incoming uh, for the mayor, C. Aubrey, on Saturday. So. Uh, the first thing that I want, you know, to, to do is to sit down with, the, you know, the delegation and the mayor and see where we're at as far as, you know, uh, the approach of, you know, uh, the economic situation for Rhoda and, you know, try to work together, you know, to uh, sustain our, you know, economy in Rhoda. And so what does that look like uh, in terms of sustaining the economy? What, what kind of legislation are you hoping to introduce? I'm looking at, uh, of course, I'm the current chairperson for the uh, Commerce and Tourism, and I'm looking into probably like the cannabis tourism. I've been, you know, doing some exploration and research in that, and I believe that can be incumbent with the agriculture, you know, uh, the, the resource that we have uh, in Rhoda that we can try to maximize, you know, uh, our, our farming industry there and see how we can integrate that with the cannabis 
uh, tourism. So I'm looking at, uh, you know, with, with that approach to cannabis tourism as a start. And so what have you uh, been up to the past few weeks in terms of, you know, everyone's busy getting on their committee assignments and meeting uh, with different boards and, mm-hmm. and commissions. So can you just give us a, an update on sure. how things have been going so far? Um, being new, you know, being a, a, a rookie in the house, there's a lot of things that I need to learn, like, the you know, the procedural process of uh, legislating a bill. And, and so that is kind of uh, holding me back a little bit. But, you know, I've been given, you know, been been shared a lot of uh, uh, with the other members, with their, you know, their support and the staff for the legislature. So, um, you know, uh, we, we're trying to organize. Everyone's trying to organize their committee. And so we can get started, you know, with doing business with uh, the current administration. All right. Is there anything else you'd like to say to the community watching this uh, as you continue to serve in your term? Sure. Uh, first of all, I want to um, thank my family, friends, and supporters, um, you know, and the people of Rhoda that put me in this place and, you know, t- that they bestowed the trust that I, you know, I'm going to give my all, um, you know, to help our people back home. Um, I can't, I'm not promising anything, but I do promise that I'm going to work hard, you know, to uh, help our people and our island.